bit. Please, just 10 more minutes. I want to talk. About what? Remember when you said boys and girls don't sleep in the same bed? Yeah. I saw it. It was on HBO, and they're making noises like all day. Whoa. Days. No, ma'am. That's it. Mm -mm. Mm. Take your medicine. All right. But I'm not finished. Yes, you are. Come on. Uh, did you do your full deck? Let me see. All right, you press it. Mm-hmm. Power complete? Uh-huh. Love you. Good night. Before you go, check into my bed for the boogie monster. The boogie monster. Yep, like I thought, no boogie monster. Not a boogie monster, but someone needs to clean up, you think? Clean up tomorrow, I promise. I love you. I do. Hey, Mom. Hey, Sky. You know, you think you up one month and next month brings you right back down to earth. All right, what's wrong, Mom? Hannah's medical bills and medication are getting out of hand. I'll take care of it. Don't stress yourself. No, don't worry about I'll it, I'll take son. care of it. Now, just how you gonna take care of it? I have a job, Mom. <laughs> Cute, okay. You wanna take care of it? Fine. Ouch. Exactly. I need to get to work anyway. Well, at least let me walk you out. I was watching book club earlier today, and that reminded me, Sky, when are you going to finish your book? Skylar. Soon, Mom. I'm just not sure yet. Son. You have a gift, and it needs to be shared. Yeah. Good night, Mom. Well, can you at least give your mother a hug? Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night. I love you. Love you, too. Stop it, man. I gotta get out of here. It's Paul Dude, wait. Come on, man. Don't leave me here by myself. I got two cars left. Well, maybe if you work more, talk less, you'll be out here too. Use your imagination. You owe me, though. Can I play the decks? Yes. Hey, stop running. Yeah. Hey, do you want to go and do something today? No, I'm fine. Right here where I'm at, with you in here. Why? Sky, I know you love your sister. But I don't want you to feel obligated. I 
don't feel obligated, mom. Okay? Okay. Can you give me my harmonica? They want to hear my music. The ducks want to hear your music? Mm hmm. Look at this. Can you give me another one for my birthday? Yeah, I'll take a shot for it, alright? What's wrong with that one? Look at it, Mom. Even the color is fading. It is raggedy. <laughs> hey, stop running! You know, something I want to show you, Mom. Okay. What is this? That's my book. I mean, the cover isn't the greatest, but... Oh, sweet Jesus. I sent two copies off the publishers today. Are you serious? Gwen? Baby, I'm so proud of you. Oh. I knew you could do it. Oh, did you tell Hannah yet? No. Well, why not? Did you tell anybody? What about Steve? Steve? I mean, I'd rather wait to see what happens first, you know? <laughs> wow. You finally came through with your book. Hannah will be so proud of you. My son is an author? <laughs> Smile, boy. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Got it. Hey, this is where you get your tickets. Hey, who published this? Oh. Baby, what's wrong? Just do a little. I want to go. Now you see why I told you to stop running left, bro? Okay. Yeah. Get you home and cleaned up, all right? She all right? I just don't like to see her like that. You think you know she's getting to the point where she's asking questions now? I know. She'll be all right. I'm keeping her home tomorrow. You go and get some rest. Well, I'm calling off tomorrow, all right? No, it's okay. I can take care no, of her. I can do it. I can do Skylar. it. Skylar. You're the brother. I'm the mother. You don't need to be there all the time. Come on. Hello. Skylar. Give Hannah whatever she wants. Skylar, is that you? Ah. Mm. Don't do that. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm sorry. Hey, you know mom told me you were still asleep. Are you feeling better? Until now. Yeah. You know I love you more than anything in the world? The whole world. Every single continent. How many continent? Uh. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come back here later and burn this place down? Yeah, I'll meet you here. Just start without me.
Remember when I was telling you I was writing stories for Hannah? Yeah. Okay, don't laugh, but I wrote a book. You wrote a book? Yeah, I wrote a book. Wait, like more than just the stuff for Hannah? Yeah. Me. Really? Yeah. Wh where is it? Well, I sent it out to some publication places. Dude, we need to celebrate. Nah, we got not that tight. Oh, come on, man. Well, I got Hannah. She's at home, so I got to... Man, your mom's home, too. She can watch her. Come on, we never get to hang out. And you wrote a book. Okay, I get to pick the place. Nothing crazy. No, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. All right, come on. Her fever rose to a hundred and two. It was okay. Sky, I'm sorry this happened, but it's not your fault. Okay. Maybe I should have stayed home. No, you should have been out. I feel like you take care of us so much. I appreciate it, but I want you to have a life. You're young. I mean, it was stupid anyways. I mean, why am I going to book clubs and trying to be a writer? I'm a mechanic, man. It's a mechanic. And the brother of a sister who's sick. Somebody's already been in to visit our patient. Mm -hmm. My name is Patricia. I'm going to be your nurse. Mm -hmm. And this is Dr. Julia. Same here. Same here. So, her fever was about 102 at 901. It broke roughly around 1027. Since this isn't a crisis, we're going to go ahead on and send her home in the morning. Do you have any questions for me? No questions. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you in good hands. Thank you. And I'll be stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. I really hate to wake her up with needles. Well, I hope you get better, and I'm gonna go turn these in, okay? Thank you. I'm going to the cafeteria. Hey, Tinkerbell. Are you feeling better? Mm-hmm. needles. I know, me neither. Why do I have to get needles? Well, I guess the doctors are trying to make you better. Can you tell me a story? Honey, you need your rest. But I can't sleep unless you tell me a story. Alright, well what kind of story? beat up the needles. Needles you do? Yeah, warrior style. Excuse me, are you all having fun? I didn't mean to interrupt. I actually heard some noises down the hallway and wanted to make sure that everything was okay. <laughs> I see that things are fine. 
I'm going to leave you two. Thank you. <laughs> okay, actually, if you don't mind, uh, can I talk to y'all for a second? Sure. Okay. Hey, look about earlier. I wanted to apologize to you. I mean, I get upset sometimes when it comes to Hannah. It's okay. No one wants to see their family that way. I'm sorry, are you her father? No, I'm a brother, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, my name is Scott, by the way. Nice to meet you. And Tammy is our mother. The one who brought in earlier. Oh, yes. I, I spoke with her briefly a little earlier. Yes, uh -huh. excuse me. We need your room eight. Okay, thank you, you doctor. Just, thanks. Okay. Um, actually, Skylar, I understand more than you may realize. So, let me take this. Okay. Take care, okay? I said not to wake you up, but I was waiting here until you got up. For what? You said it's gonna take me to look at some new harmonicas. Gotta get up in the morning. I don't know. I wanna make sure you got the right one for my birthday. Stop it. Hannah, please, I'll take you later tomorrow. This one is almost broken. Listen to this. <laughs> I'll take you. Come on. Go. Go. I'll be there. Go. But don't you have to put some clothes on first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. Okay, but I'll be standing right yeah. by the door. Go. Who this is for? Thank you. Are you coming to my birthday party? You know it. Good. I'm bringing presents. Sky's gonna buy me a flute. She knows how to play the flute? No. Well, I can't wait to hear it. Hey, let me run inside right fast. I'll get you. Yes. I'll be out here. Appreciate it, though. Talk to you for a second while we was on lunch. Um, think we still getting that bonus? Yeah, I was just actually going over them numbers, man. Who we looking at, man? It's about 400. 400 bucks? You think that's too much? Nah. <laughs> My man. Thank you, Mom. No problem, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, to right now, huh? Not right now. Would you get out of here? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mom. Hey, y'all know the door's unlocked? Look, Sky, my daddy is here. Hey, Hannah. Give me a hug. You miss me? Can you tell me what is he doing here? He just decided to show up and see Hannah. I can't tell her she can't see her father. What do you want me to do about it? Just put him out? He said someone just dropped him off for a while. Now, he just can't show up in the heart of her life like this. And you know that she's going through enough and he's just going to disappoint her. You listen to me. You can't take her away from her father, no matter what you think about him. What? No matter what I think about this guy, you helping up for this guy? What are you I? talking about? This guy? Boy, I don't take sides for nobody. Sky, what is really bothering you? Okay, and you want to know what's really going on? Here you go. Author, right? First rejection letter. Sign. A no is just one step closer to a yes. I mean, 
everything will be all right. Come back inside. Oh yeah, Lady Bob. I would never miss it for the world. Got all sorts of presents and everything. Sky's gonna buy me a flute. We saw it today. So you been making now? Still working down there in the little chop shop? Yeah, Leroy. I'm still working. Still. If your mother wouldn't mind, I thought it'd be nice for me to stay over here for a little bit. Just to make sure that the checks start rolling in. Then I can have some real good daddy time here with my lady bug. But your mother told me you writing books now? What are you, some type of author? You wrote a book? You never told me about that. Because they didn't like it. Well, I like it. You're only one person. If they didn't like it, they didn't like it. Leroy. Hey, T, what's going on? Where's her greens? I don't need greens. Oh, really? Ladybug, they're good for you. Eat your greens. I don't like greens. They stink. No, they don't. They're good for you. Eat your greens. But I don't like greens. Ask Sky that. She never did like greens. I'm your father. I don't need to ask Skyler. Leroy, she doesn't like green beans. Hannah, eat your greens. But I don't like Eat the greens. Now. You know what? You look at me. Don't you ever talk back to your father. You got that? That's why all the green cans are going out tonight, okay? Is my daddy going to leave me again because I made him mad? No, don't think like that. What? But nothing, he won't leave, okay? He won't leave, okay? Let me tell you a story. Not tonight. I just don't want my daddy to leave. All right. All right. Whatever you want, okay? Well, maybe he changed. I heard that way too many times before. All right, well look, if he's jiving, We'll go get him, tie him up, take him in the woods, and drop him off. What? Don't say job. <laughs> Why not? Because you don't sound right when you say job. Well, how am I supposed to say it? You shouldn't say it. <laughs> hey, amigo. Telefono. Right, babe.
D. I gotta go. Well, where are you going? That was Bridges Publishing. You didn't want to talk to me about my book. Really? Cover for me, all right? And close down shop. Yeah, okay, don't worry about it. Skylar, he's ready to see you. How you doing? Scott Ford. Yes. Nice to meet you. Hi, my pleasure. Have a seat. All right. Um, can I call you George or Mr. George? You bet. George is fine. George is fine. So, Scholar, tell me about this book of yours. Um, it's about a state runner. Um, he's going into college and he can't lose a race. Um, the only thing about it is when he gets to college, he understands that it's not just about him. You know, he has to learn how to be a team player and help out everyone because winning isn't everything if you don't have to sacrifice for the whole team. Okay. Skylar, I, I just want to be a straight shooter with you, yeah. all right? But can it sell? That's always the question. Can it sell? Now, I, I like your writing. I do, and that's the reason I called you. But this is just not the style we're looking for right now. Success stories are great. I like success stories. But I feel that this one is, it just, it just lacks something. It seems a bit disconnected. No, no real reality in it. Do you understand what I'm telling you? All right, now, I don't want to let that discourage you. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Right. Now, again, I do like your writing. I think you've got a good thing going. I want you to go home. I want you to write more. And when you feel that there's something there that you want to show me, you have my number, and you call me, and we'll visit some more. Okay? okay? And please, like I said earlier, do not let this discourage you. Is that good? Yeah. Great. Skylar, thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. You. I know you're going to be successful, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. You have a great day. Hey, do we need anything else? Mm. Oh, let's get some garlic bread. Garlic bread? Are you sure you want some garlic bread? I like garlic bread. Why? Because your breath stinks at the garlic bread. That's why. Then your breath stinks all the time, man. It never stinks. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Skylar? Hey, it's that doctor lady. Hey, Hannah. I take it you don't remember my name. Julia. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, are we shopping for the family? Yeah, well, mom and a visitor. Julia. Yes, Hannah. Are you coming to my birthday party? Everyone will be there. Let's see. I have food, guys. Hey, what do you know about guys? I'm a woman. Hello. So are you coming to my birthday party? I don't know. Am I? Yeah. That would be great. Okay. So I'm coming. Hey. <laughs> hey, you know what? Tomorrow I have to go party shop for the birthday party. Maybe we could go together and get a bite to eat. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Okay, see you then. All right. I have a good feeling about that party, Hannah. Okay. See you later, sweetie. Bye. Goodbye, Skylar. Bye. Kids used to go outside and play. I would try to do that, then I come home and very sick. Something on your mind, Skylar. No one likes the book, all right? I went to Bridges, man. Bridges, and they turned it down. I mean, what's the sense of me writing something if no one cares? Who am I kidding? You know how much overtime I could have had at my regular job, my day job, if I wasn't messing with that book? 
You talking real negative. And I don't talk to negative people, son. I just won't partake in that foolishness. Anyway, guess who we saw earlier today? Who? Julia from the hospital. Hannah's doctor? Yeah. And then Hannah told her about a birthday party and how she wants to shop with me. <laughs> so you like her? Who, Julia? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, she's nice. But I don't think I'm a type. You never know, son. Just keep your heart open. You want to help me fold these towels? Come on. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll be right back with water. Hannah's gonna really like the decorations, I think. Yeah, I think so too. I think she'll like it. Yeah. The relationship that you and her share is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Oh. Thank it's, you. It's clear how much you love her. It really is. Thank you. So, what do you enjoy doing? <laughs> like, what do you like to do when you're not working? Well, I do like to write. So you're a writer then? No, nah, I wouldn't call myself a writer. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, you know, I try. All right, shrimp and pasta. Thank you. And your crush. Thank you, sir. All right. If there's anything else I can get you guys, just let me know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, I know this looks good to me, too. So, do you have a favorite author? I know it's cliche to ask it all, but most writers have someone they're inspired by, right? Well, besides Hannah being my inspiration to do what I do, I guess there is one author, uh, Greg Heath. Oh, I've heard of him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I saw a commercial the other day saying he would be in town for some discussion and book signing. Yeah, I actually went to one of his readings. Uh, how was it? I didn't get to stay. That was what? the night Hannah came to the hospital. Oh, no. Yeah. So you left to take care of your sister? Yeah, but it's no big deal anyway, right? <sighs> mm. This is so good. You have to try some. You want a shrimp? Yeah. Wait, let me get it. <laughs> you ready? Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's good, huh? <laughs> I like them. Oh, thank you. I like them. Yeah, it is good. You should try this. Yours, let me try it. Look at that chicken in there. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Now that is really good. Mm -hmm. That's seasoned just right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you plan on staying at the hospital? Well, me and a couple of doctors have been working on a project. Mm -hmm. Actually, we've been working on it for the past six months. We are planning on opening up our own clinic. We're trying to find better treatments and ways for them to cope with the disease that they have. Mm -hmm. My hope is that it'll become a place that they are able to enjoy, a place where they don't fear the cold and still of hospitals. Yeah. Something geared more towards making them laugh as much as possible. That way, when they're admitted, they're not saddened every time. I'm thinking more like paradise instead of some operation room, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, the disease is normally looked over a lot, so. I think you're gonna do great. Thank you. What are you looking for? The river. Show it to me on the map. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? This is the wrong map. They wouldn't put it on here. What? Yeah, why would they do that? They want to hide it from people. It's a sacred place. Well, let's just go right now, down by the river. Well, we can't. We have to go to an appointment at the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. I want to go down by the river. I'm working on it, all right? Let me get the wildlife permits and we'll go, okay? Why? Why? Because they're ferocious animals in there. Oh, okay. Like lions, tigers, and bears? Yeah, yeah. Like lions, tigers, and bears. Mm. Hey, trust me, all right? Okay. Okay. Put the map up. Let's go. People call me little. She don't know what she's talking about. I'm not little. She's a witch. Yeah. You didn't know? Okay. Her blood count's below normal, which is normal for kids like this. The doctor's going to prescribe some more folic acid for the blood, and the rest of the test results went to the lab. Are you a witch? Excuse me? Well, my brother said you were a witch. I'm going to act like I didn't hear that. Don't tell her. I told you that it was secret. secret you society. told me that. Yeah, I told you. I didn't know you were to do it. Hey, Scott. What up? Hey, man. Hey, man. This was up front for you. What is it? Help me. Who's it from? Julia. Who's Julia? Hannah's doctor. Whoa, what? Dude, you're, you're dating Hannah's doctor? Yeah, I guess I am. Well, why don't you tell me? Come on, man, you know you act all stupid. Oh, by the way, there was chocolate in there. What? Oh, yeah, where's that? I said there was. I ate it. Stay out of my stuff. No, what up, baby? What's up, man? Wasn't today five bonuses? Yeah, I got mine. You didn't? <sighs> been something I've been meant to tell you, man. Mm -hmm. I had to cut the bonuses. I'm sorry. You sorry? Look, I know you're upset, and you have that right to be, but I'm sorry, man. Next year, you'll get it. I don't have a next year, all right? Man, my sister's birthday is tomorrow, man. Look, maybe you should go home early and cool off. I really think that'll be best for you right now. Sky, dude, what happened? Sky. So what's up, Leroy? What's up, man? So things get at you with work? Everything good. You going somewhere? Yeah, man. Working another double. Can't wear the same clothes twice, you know? Yeah, well, I heard that. So you'll be here for Hannah's birthday tomorrow, though, right? 
Yeah, 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 I'll be here. Uh, you know, I'm basically getting on for about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Lady brother, no, I would never miss this for the world. Gotta be there for, you know, step it up. Man, how you getting to work? Yeah, I got a guy coming from the job, you know. He should be here any minute now. I'll walk you out. Nah, nah. All right, man. You have a good night. I insist I'll walk you out. Just tell me the truth between me and you. Are you leaving hand or what? Listen, boy. I don't have no time to take care of no sick child. I got my whole life ahead of me. You telling me that you can't even stay for her birthday party tomorrow, right? Seem like you the better man now for her. Just go, man. Just go. What are you doing up? It didn't give me the bonus for Hannah's flute. And then on top of that, Leroy left for good. Hannah doesn't care about that. She loves you. So don't stress yourself, all right? Now, I'm going to start this food. You get yourself together. Can I come in? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get that. Thank you. Good, man, it's getting crazy. You having fun? Yeah, well, I just got here. Yeah, but it looks like uh, I'm gonna be running up some stairs a few times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to meet Julia. Oh, yeah. Julia! Come here. Don't you say nothing crazy. So, this is <laughs> Julia. I'm Steve, and I gotta say, this guy can't keep the pipe shut when it comes to I thought you were gonna bring your wife. She has trouble walking from obesity. Oh. Yeah, I know, it's all kinds of messed up. <laughs> hey, where's the birthday girl? Hey, birthday girl! <laughs> How are you? How old are you now? What, 20? I'm eight. Hey, no way, you're too beautiful to be eight. Thank you. Oh, it was nice to meet you, Steve. You too. Okay. Can you keep the pipe shut? Well, you know. You know. No, no. Julia, oh, Julia. We have to I love up. you so much. You always got jokes, you know that? <laughs> it's not funny, man, it's not funny. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hannah. Happy birthday to you. How old are you? Eight. How old are you? I'm still eight. Happy birthday to you. 
sky.
Get out of this place right now. Yeah. We we'll get out of here tonight, okay? Where do you want to go? Down by the river. Yeah. Want to go down by the river? We'll go. And guess what? There'll be no more needles. Can the sun stay up? Yeah. The sun can stay up for 48 hours if you want. Okay, so you believe you're going to need all of this rest, okay? Me and mom love you. Hey there. I know it's been a long day, guys. I know she's tired. We should probably let her get some rest. Why don't we take you up to the family waiting area and we'll come and get you if anything changes, okay? The thing is, Hannah has splenic sequestration. The sickle cells in her body are pooling in her spleen, causing a sudden drop in hemoglobin. What does that even mean? Her spleen is acting like a sponge. It's retaining a lot of blood. We're giving her blood transfusion, but she may not make it through the night. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're doing everything we can.
We are gathered here today for our little angel who's in the mighty hands of our father. Hannah has taught us all what it is to be an angel. She was kind. As we say our final farewells to Hannah, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, she is now with the Lord. Let us bow our heads in the moment of silence for prayer. Amen. Man, it's only been two weeks. I'm good, man. I don't need that right now. I need to work. All right? I need a three-eighths. Man, it's only been two weeks. Been, it's only been two weeks. Look, man, I really think you should take the time off. I think Steve! You can Why do you think you know what's best for me right now? Sky. Sky, stop. Sky, dude, look, man, it can wait. I okay. got it. All right? This is it. This is all I want to do. Sky. Right? What are you doing here, man? Mark, I'm trying to work. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to fix this. You need to go home until you get yourself together, man. Nah, Mark, come on, man. You know me. I'm good, man. Steve, walk Scott to his car. Mark. 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 Come on. Let's go. Mark. Come on, we got to go, man. What's his problem? His wife left him for an eighth grader. She's got a thing for uniforms. Get out of here before he comes back. All right. All right well, I'm gonna bring my three home. Hey, you got your three eights. Take off, man. Go.
I've been reading this book. It's about heaven. How when you die, what happens to you? The school called today and wanted to know why Hannah didn't show up for class. I told them she would be there tomorrow. <laughs> this is so hard for me. God knows it is. <laughs> but he has his reasons. Oh my. Skylar. Skylar, wake up. I made you coffee. I wanted to ask you something. What? I wanted to know if you could speak at the clinic opening today to the other children and families. I think that would really help them out a lot. Maybe it'll help you out, too. No. Look, I know you're still going through. Your mom would like for you to do it also. Steve said he would be there to support you. And Hannah. Hannah, I know she would love for you to do it for her. Maybe you should just leave. You're acting as if I'm trying to hurt you, when all I'm trying to do is help. Help me do what, Julie? Did you come here to agonize me? I just... What do you want to help me do? Can you tell me I'm that? I'm trying to bring you back. Bring me back from what, Julia? There's nothing to bring me back from. She's gone. Don't you get that? Don't you see it? She's gone. She's not here anymore. You want me to go to that clinic and lie to those people and tell them everything is going to be all right, right? That's what you want me to do? Because it's not. Do you understand when Hannah died, I died? Do you see that? No. I guess I don't. Don't you get it? Don't, don't, you, don't it register to you? No. Get out! Damn, yeah, get out! like to cut the ribbon for me. I do it. Are you going to cut the ribbon? What's your name? Isaac. Oh, that's a handsome name, sweetheart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to our new clinic, Hannah's Medical Center. Yeah. I'm so glad to see the faces of our better tomorrow. Thank you to the parents for believing in our children. For you are the hope in their eyes. As we begin a new chapter in our lives, I'd like to start with someone very dear and close to our hearts. Skylar. Welcome to Hannah's Medical Center. Uh, Hannah was diagnosed with sickle cell at a young age. But she never let that seem to get her down. She was loving, kind, fun. She was strong, you know. She 
couldn't be here today, but I guess because uh, she had somewhere else to be. But if she was here, she would play a flute and let us all dance and have a good time. But she told me to tell you all, this is the place to be. It's no more hospitals, it's no more cold rooms, it's no more waiting for us. It's fun, it's loving, and it's one big family. And I want to thank Julia for opening up this clinic. In loving memory of Hannah. Thank you. I'm really happy with it. It's doing great. Congratulations. How are you? How are you being? It's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll be back. All right. And where are you going? I do one thing. Okay. Thank you.